I'm actually going to talk about 10 red flags to look out for when you're working with a marketing consultant. My name is Nicole. I'm the CEO of All Mode Branding. It's just me today. So I don't have Geraldine. I don't have Giselle. It's just little me. So a lot of these red flags are a little redundant, but I just need to repeat them. So that way they stick in your mind. Number 10, you didn't reach out to them. They found you meaning they're doing cold calls. They found you on LinkedIn. They somehow text you. These bots are getting very smart. Um, they emailed you. If you have no idea how they found you, pause because they're just looking for the sell. They're not necessarily looking to help you as a business owner. Don't respond. The only way to respond is if you could tell it's an actual real person. There's a photo in the signature. There's a link to a good website. There is a link to book a discovery call so you could talk to them. Great. But if it's just like this random text of an email, which I get a lot that makes no sense, don't hire them. Number nine, this sort of goes out to a little bit with number 10. You didn't get an email from an actual person, but from a bot, right? Nowadays, everyone can hire a virtual assistant. That virtual assistant can be AI. It doesn't have to be a real person. But again, if you're just getting an email from a bot per se, you still don't know who's working on your project. You don't know who's part of the team. So why are you going to hire someone that you just generally do not know? Number eight. You have to pay the total amount up front. I know some consultants are going to be like, wait, what? But I think this is a big red flag. If you have to give them all the money up front before they do any work, they don't have any incentive to, <laughs> to do the work. They could easily ghost you and then you're out of all that money. So let's see if there are payment plans, if there is milestones in place, if there is a contract. So if you decide to pay them all up front before they do the work, make sure there's the contract in place that you sign, they sign, that definitely says that work has to be done during the duration that you agreed upon and that you own everything that they create. Number seven. So you call this company, you think the email is pretty good, you like the website, but the person you talk to is just a sales representative. It is not the person, again, that's doing the work. I cannot stress this enough. If you have no idea who's doing your work and they're not being upfront about it, pause. The sales representative is probably some young person that just graduated from college. It's their first sales job. They're on a floor or they're working remotely and they have a list and they got to follow up with all these people. Their whole incentive is just to get you to sign. They got to get 10 people to sign a contract in a day or something like that. So again, you have no idea who's working on your project. No one is assigned to you. You don't have an account representative that's assigned to you that actually cares about you. No one asks you any questions. There we go. Red flag. Number six, they can't share with you a portfolio. If they can't show you the work they've done, that should give you a pause. However, a little caveat, just follow up with some questions. If they are a new consultant, I know for myself and for some other friends, when we start out as consultants, we don't have a lot of work to show. Maybe we're working with smaller companies that they're just not a lot of work, or maybe your clients are very private about their work. If they don't have a portfolio, follow up with some questions of how long they've been in business. Can they share with you a link to their past client's Instagram account that you can go check and see the work they've done there? Things along those lines. Number five, they have a system, but they don't really explain the system to you. This sort of goes with the paying everything up front, right? These companies, it's like pay us $10,000 and in like 30, 60 days, you'll have like X amount of followers or your website will increase in traffic or you'll get these sales and blah, 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 blah. They do all these guarantees because they have a system in place. And then usually the system has some tacky name, right? It's like usually named after them. These people annoy me. Um, so they have a system, but they can't explain to you like, exactly how this system is going to work for your particular business. The answer they give you is very much the same answer they give everyone. Sort of think like culty vibes, if you will. This annoys me when any consultant tries to guarantee something. I'm like, you can't guarantee anything. Like you just can't. You can't even guarantee that if someone's going to wake up the next day, you have no control over it. Um, Yeah. So number four, they just ask you questions about the project, but not necessarily questions about you as a business owner, which sounds great, right? You're hiring them to work on this project. Awesome. But 
if all they're asking you is like, oh, okay, so you want 10 Instagram posts. Do you have the colors, logos? Okay, what are the captions, blah, blah, I'll get it done. But they ask you no questions about how long you've been in business, what your business is about, what's the whole point of them creating these Instagram posts? What is your social media strategy? Why are you hiring a consultant now? They have no idea what you're doing. They just care about the project. Again, they're just caring about getting that money, getting in and out. And then all of a sudden you're still left with that same frustration and problems you had as a business owner. Number three goes back to the people being really salesy. Can you tell I get really annoyed with salespeople? They annoy me to no end. Okay. They try to be your best friend during the first call, the discovery call. They are buttering you up. Think like old school car salesperson. Like they want to make you feel so, so good. And they're not actually asking you any questions. I have seen this with past clients when they work with someone like that they give the money to this person because that person made them feel good and that person ghosts them that person just takes their money and legit runs honestly i know this sounds like horror stories but geraldine giselle and i have worked with so many clients and we have heard their stories from past marketing agencies this is why we're doing the red flags video number two there's no way to confirm that they are a real person you go to their website and there's no phone number there's no email address to a person. There's no photo of the team. There's no like links to LinkedIn, Instagram, Google, Yelp, nothing. If you Google their business, the only thing that comes up is their website, nothing else. Give yourself a pause. I'm not saying every marketing agency needs to be on social media, but there needs to be other ways to verify them and you know it's free to start a google business page a linkedin instagram so if they can't even do that like come on now number one their website is very generic it just looks like every other website there's no way to verify who they are just look on their website it's a lot of flashy words there's no links to verify it. There's no way to book a discovery call with them. There's no way to email them. The only way you could chat with them is like this hello at blah, blah, blah email, or it's a bot. There's like no follow-up. I said that was number one, but I'm going to give you all a number zero, if you will. So it's 11 red flags. We've talked about this numerous times in the other videos, but the number one thing is if they do not ask you questions, honestly, you are in a discovery call with them, a consulting call with them. It's the That's usually the first call you have with them. That should be like 15, 20, maybe 30 minutes at most. That's a free conversation. You shouldn't pay for that call. Okay. You shouldn't pay for a 15, 20 minute discussion. Got it? Good. Don't pay for it. That discussion is literally for you to share with them your business, who you are as a business owner, ask them questions and they should ask you questions. They should definitely ask you questions of who you are as a business owner, how long you've been in business, what is your business, what exactly are you looking for for them to do? And then they should also then provide some general solutions, right? Oh, okay, you've said this, but we're hearing this. Are we on the right track? Does that make sense? They should ask you questions about your budget. They should ask you questions about how long you want to work with them. You know, they should really get to know you. And then after that conversation, they should provide you some type of proposal or quote. I know Geraldine and I, we talked about this in another video. And that proposal or quote should give you two, three payment options. It should tell you in detail what you're paying for. And then you can decide if you want to work with them. If you don't want to work with them, Send them an email if you like them. Say, no, sorry. If you didn't like them, you don't have to send them an email. But if you like them, send them an email, let them know you don't want to work with them. You know, like it's not a good time or whatever. If they're not willing to be humble or have some humility, then they're just going to sort of bulldoze you. And this is your business. It's the consultant's job to make you feel good about your business and to provide guidance and solutions. It is not their job to just take your money and go. All right. So those are my 11 red flags for what to look out for when hiring a marketing consultant. Wherever you're watching this video, um, just leave a comment like, share, I don't know, wherever we are, put your questions in the comments, DM us, all that good stuff. And we hope you are enjoying these videos. All right. Bye everyone.